Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I'm going to put some of these in here, like this. A few plants scattered around. There's a lot of litter around the hospital, you should consider placing more bins. I've got a couple of bins. That's another thing that I would like, is a couple more big bins. I've got some bins over here, so I'm going to just... Drop one there by that main entrance. These guys are busy cleaning this up at the moment. Our next room. Uh, sell that one. Sell that wreckage as well. And sell that wreckage. Down over this side. I've got some basic rooms here. I'm going to want a staff room over this side. That's going to be one of our next things. Staff challenge. Have you considered promoting some of our staff? I think it would greatly benefit the hospital. I will accept. So, we're going to build a staff room. It's got to be our next one. They need somewhere that they can rest up. And we're going to put that one over here. This is going to be a three by four. It's going to be a big staff room. Register your body for compost donation today. Help the grass be greener from the other side. <laughs> Register your body for compost donation Help the grass be greener from the other side. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely fantastic. That is truly, truly beautiful. That is what a sentiment. Um, right, we want a drinks machine in here and a snack machine. Like that in the staff room. We're going to build a television is going to be put in here. I'm going to put a television uh, there. And I'm going to put a television there. I'm going to... I'm not going to put any more chairs. We've got an armchair in there. We're going to want a bin in here. So I'm going to put the bin right next to the TV there in the middle of the room. That's that's not unusual at all. I've, I've seen staff rooms with much stranger things than that. Uh, we definitely, definitely want a radiator in here. Which we will put up against that wall. I was going to put a bookcase in here. The radiator in the middle of the room, that would be weird. So maybe we can try and fit a small radiator in. Um, except I can't. I don't quite have We've the room We've received for it. some reports of an earthquake which has caused particular damage to one of the county's hospitals. This is why one must never be without insurance. And I heartily recommend Swindle's Insurance, who in no way paid me to endorse them. <laughs> in no way paid me to endorse them. I'm wondering if we should... No, you know what? We're going to have the radiator in the middle of the room. Right? This, again, is might seem a little bit weird, but it's not actually that unusual. Because I'm going to say that's not a fixed radiator. That's a portable one. We don't have a fixed radiator in this room. So if that's a portable radiator then it would be absolutely fine to have it there in um, the room like that. Uh, right, this fire extinguisher, is there anywhere I can put that besides right there? Yes, I can. Wow. I did not think it would fit in there. Right, that's perfect. If that one can go there, then I've got room to put a bookcase in there, which is what I wanted. I wanted a bookcase in there. I'm not going to put any pictures or anything else. That's everything that I want for that one. I feel that that is absolutely fine. We will go for our overlay here at the moment. We'll have a look at temperature. It's fairly cosy around most of the hospital at the moment. I don't think I need to worry too much about changing anything else just yet. This here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm kind of thinking that we'll mostly leave this open. I mean, maybe I could do a research or marketing room in here. We do need to do some research, but I don't know if I want to start working on research just yet. This side over here, this is where we're going to be doing our treatment. So we're going to go in here. Uh, misery guts, chronic grumpiness, sends for treatment in the pharmacy. We've got a pharmacy over there. He's got six people waiting to go in. I want to go rooms, and I want to build a ward down here. So we will build that one out by four, and we will run along by seven, I should think. I will put the door, and the door can go there, I think, and then the nurse's station goes there in that corner like that, and then this changing cubicle will go 
them right into that corner there. We will use jasmine beds rather than the normal beds this time. Just because. And I'm going to push these beds... Oh. Right, I do need to actually have the beds that far apart. And then I got room for one more bed over there. Then on this side of the room, we can put one in the corner and then we go one there and one there. So I've got seven beds in this ward. Then I'm going to... Right, bedside table I don't think is going to work. Not like that, it's not. I don't know why it allows you to place them down sometimes and it doesn't allow you to place them down other times. It's it's very peculiar the way that it does that. I, I can put the table in there, but I can't put one in there. It's simply, it's just not going to allow me to place that one anywhere. It, it, it just doesn't like it. I can put one here. And I can put the bedside table there like that but that one oh it does fit right that one will fit in there I'll do the same over here some bedside tables that one's not gonna have a bedside table that one's just gonna go without wall monitors we definitely definitely I'm gonna ignore the fact that we've got those windows there going to the outside because I want to be able to put all of this other stuff in um, so we will put the wall monitors above every single bed like this because that helps as well um, that is one treat one percent treatment and one percent diagnostics medicine cabinets I cannot fit one there now what I've done previously is I've stuck them in the middle of the room and I've been in hospitals plenty of times and seen medicine cabinets in the middle of a room like this and it's basically it's done like that so that it's accessible from both sides and can be used for treating patients so that they line them up that would be absolutely normal acceptable uh, types of behavior and and things and styles so put that one there I want a bin to go here somewhere I can put one there I'm gonna need a fire extinguisher we do not have room for one there, but I do have room for one of those down that end. Hand sanitizer is actually on a ward is quite an important thing. Right. And I know for a fact that I've got at least one proper nurse who watches this series. I think there may be two nurses that watch this series. Um that work in a real-life hospital. So i got to make sure that I get things right. Just because I have been in a hospital a few times doesn't mean I know very much about it. I've got actual trained nurses that watch this series. And if I make mistakes, if I get things wrong, you can be sure they're going to be calling me out. Right, we'll put another one of those there. I probably don't need that one, but it's the extra diagnostics and treatment skills that they do impart onto us. So hopefully that will help a, a bit as well. I think that's pretty good. We've got a seven-bed ward in there. That is actually pretty decent. Um, so that's basic treatments already. We've got basic treatments all underway. And yes... Once again, I do apologize that I am starting all over again and we're, we're sort of having to work from scratch all the way out. Um, but I feel sort of from this point on, it generally it gets a little bit easier. Uh, it, it now starts to get a little bit more varied. We have to go and do the basic bits that I've now done. And I like the idea of having this as a, a bigger room. Like we've got more space in here. I've got some seats over there. I reckon... Well, we're not really going to need seats outside that one. I'm going to want psychiatry. I'm going to want... Oh, that one's not worked. What's going on here? The drug mixer Staff is... Staff reminded to be good value. Staff are reminded to be good value. Okay, that I like. Uh, I reckon... Because we've got reception right here. People come right up to reception. They deal with things. We've got drinks. So on over here. We've got two janitors. One of them is on a break. 
And I've got him. He's uh, busy repairing that one. We're going to want to upgrade that one as well as soon as he's repaired it. What a delight today's show has been. I can only hope that it pales in comparison to the real deal this time next month. Here's hoping that you enjoyed today's trial run. Ta-ta! Right, I want a training room. And I also want a research room. I think I'm going to build a research room next. And we'll get a research doctor. And we will start getting research done pretty quickly. Because that's going to... That, ultimately, I feel that is going to help. Now, the research room has got to be a 4 by 3 So I was kind of thinking... 4 by 3 here, maybe? If I bring that back down a bit down here and... Get rid of those. There's my four by three with the research. We'll do it like that. Right, doctor, uh, uh, a door over here. I'll put the door on that side for it. Uh, researcher's desk. That one's going to go we'll there. Be right back. Research pod. Over there. Right, I'm going to put you there like that. Some of our patients are freezing. New illness, bed face. Uh, no. Right, just pause a minute. We've got a few extra bits that we're going to need to deal with in a minute. Um, right, that's not reachable because of where I've got that one. So let's put a couple of those in there. Is there anything that helps with research speed? I don't think there is. That's training speed in there so that's not going to make any difference to us i don't think there are any posters or anything that help with research i'll put a chair in here for him we can have that and then the rest of it is just about room prestige i mean probably wouldn't hurt to have prestige let's not put anything too drastic in here like plants because um this is a research room you never quite know what's going to go on. And if we, if we start introducing too many variables into a research room, uh, it, it could go horribly wrong. So we'll put the radiator over in that corner to keep it all nice and toasty and warm. Um, I've got a chair in there, but I really feel that's the wrong chair for the job. We want something a little more comfortable for him. I'll put that one down there. Um, research mo Ooh! Research monitors plus one research power. That's... Decreases temperature, whiteboard, increases prestige. Um, right, research monitors, explosion of data, enough to make any scientist giddy. 200k points, but it does give me plus one research power. Assists in research. I'm going to do it. That is quite a specialist thing, and I've only got 480 points. But I still think it's going to be worth it. Oh, goodness me. These have got to go onto the... Right. These go up against the wall. This this changes things. This this definitely changes things. Right. That's got to go there. I can't put it up against the door. Uh, the pod can go... Right. Hang on a minute. Let's see. The pod can go there. That radiator can just plonk there for a minute. That one can go right in the middle of the room. Let's get rid of that one for a second. Filing cabinets aren't really needed. Neither of these chairs. That chair there I'll get rid of. That one I will not, but that one I will get rid of. That one I will move up there like that. You over here... You can move to there like that. Then I need to have the, what do you call it up here? Where is it? The researcher's desk. That one we've got to have, but that one can actually go here in the middle of the room. So it's not taking up space against a wall. So I can put that one there, dead center, like that. So then I can see what I'm doing with the research. And, and then I've got all of these banks of monitors as well. Then we come down here and we get the research monitors don't fit they do fit on that wall i can put them up there 
Right, I'll put them right into that corner, and then I want to come over here. So that radiator's got to move. That can go over there, like that. And then those research monitors there can go against that wall. And that's it, I think. Oh, wait. I have another idea. Let's move you there. This one. I can't go up against that. I can't move it any further. Although that's not centered. That's center there. It's not going to quite allow me to put that in the center by the look of it. See? Slightly off center there. That's the middle. And that would be where the bank of monitors needs to go. So I can't put that one in there because it's it becomes unreachable. I can move it up that way a little bit. There like that, which means that I might be able to fit one more bank of them in here. I can if I don't have that one there. Is there anywhere I can put that one? Let's get rid of it for a second. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher can go there. Radiator can move. And can go up against that wall down there. Then the next bank... Right, I've got four banks of monitors in here. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, let's be honest. The old style of filing system is no longer valid in this hospital. We no longer need that. We will put the bin in here, and we will have the wicker chair there, just so that we can rest on it. But we don't need anything else. Look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. I have now got everything that we could possibly need. These banks of monitors are going to be beautiful. Build room. Look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. There we go. We've now got the perfect research room. That is absolutely spot on, perfect and beautiful and wonderful. Right. New illness, bed face. Quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. We'll send a patient with treatment in our ward. Fortunately, I've already built the ward. Uh, student nurse to junior nurse, you can be promoted. Let's put you up like that. Right, there are there is one member of staff promoted. I need a research doctor to start working in here now. Let's close you up and hire... Uh, those are nurses available there. I've got what I got two nurses at the moment, but I don't think I've got anybody with ward management. Although you've got injection administration, so you're not really the one. I'm going to take Dwayne Malarkey. Hangry questions the point of it all. Yeah, well, we'll take you, so you can help in here, and you can also help in there. And I won't worry about it too much beyond that. Doctors. I've got one doctor at the moment. There is my research doctor who will be able to get level three research. However, I think I would rather not have someone who... Like, that's a completely wasted skill. I want a 100% research doctor. Someone with psychiatry too... Would be a good start. They've also got some basic diagnostics and treatment skills as well. The research bit, that'll do for now just to help out. But I want a specialist research doctor. And Perry Monk, are you going to be suitable? Doesn't listen to Nigel Biggleworth, any, uh, Bickleworth anymore. Will work for Peanuts and he's positive. Right, Perry Monk, you are also going to work in our hospital. You're going to be doing some additional bits and pieces. I want a training room now, so I've either got to put a training room in here and take up this space, or I use that space for something. I'm not sure what I want to use that space for. I wasn't planning to use it for more of those. Those were going to come over onto this side. So a training room could go in here. Or I could, I'm going to put the training room in here. We're going to build a training room like we had last time. So we'll go in here and we'll go straight into training. And I'll put one there like that. And three by four like that. Uh, I've got a plant there in the way. That door 
in the corner right there. You can go there like that, and then I need some desks. I guess it doesn't really matter if I put the desks right into the corners. Although what I'd like to do actually is I'm going to put the desks as close as possible to this one in the middle of the room for a minute. How often have I wanted to put five or more people training in the room? I haven't. I don't believe it's ever happened. So we will do it like that. And then plus 2% training speed for the encyclopedia bookcase. A bin in here is one thing that we're going to want. So we will put we'll put in the things that we've absolutely got to have. Even well, a bit we don't even we, we don't have to have a bin in this room. Does that make any difference having a big bin or it makes no difference to floor space, a big bin or a small bin? Fire extinguisher. It's not really going to make any difference here anywhere. I can put the fire extinguisher right in there in that corner. That's everything that I've got. Oh, no, radiator. We've got to have a radiator. Now, previously, I have put the radiator right in the middle of the desks. I can't put it up there. And I can't put it there. I suppose I could put a small radiator in up in that corner. Um, let's put a radiator there. Now, not the bookcase. No, we want the encyclopedia bookcase. I need to put as many of these bookcases into this room as I can possibly fit in, because this helps the training. As many of these as possible. So we want to squeeze these right in like this. I can put another one in there. I can't put any more because of the door. Then I go over here and one right in that corner and another one there. And then I go over this way and I put them up against this wall. Uh, here, and we start building our way along this wall here with bookcases. And another one up there. Can't go right into that corner. I can put one there, but I can't go any further with that. Uh, then, I was, this, this is what I started doing last time, wasn't it? As I started putting these in like this, as many as I possibly can, I can't fit any more in here. That is going to be... Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Where there's a will, there is a way. There we go. So that is... I can't put them in there because it's going to make everything inaccessible. But there's a whole load of them in there. Uh, then the other thing that I did was I put the anatomy poster... Like that. And the brain poster. And I alternated these all the way round the entire room on the wall. In behind the shelves. To further increase the training value of this room. And it worked before. So it's going to work again. We will be able to do this. So that one in there. And then the anatomy poster. And then the brain poster. And we will just keep doing this all the way around. So, it... Oh, wait. This room is now unaffordable. That's no good. 43,000 and I've only got 39,000. I can't get more money. It's not going to let me do it. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I will put another anatomy poster on there. And I'll stop with that for a minute. And I'll get rid of these... So the money goes down to what I can afford. And I will put that one in. And then I will go to finances and loans. And I will take out the biggest loan that I can at the moment. Then I will go back into the training room over here. And I will edit. And I will keep doing some more work on this. So we want to go back to these training encyclopedias um, shelves. Because they are a little... They're, they're two grand a piece. That's why the money was so high. Because these things are $2,000 a piece. Yeah, I can't put any more. I guess the only other... Th I can't do them that way. Ooh! Room for another one there. Any more? 
Nope, that is that is it. That, that is the very last one. And then some more, some more of these posters. Can't put them behind the door, strangely. I don't know why I can't put them behind the door. I can put them right behind these shelves where all they're doing is they're just giving off an aura of intelligence. That's what these posters are doing. They're giving off an aura of intelligence. And that is how it is going to help people learn because of this aura that they are giving off. So I can't put any over there. Uh, I am able to put one on there. Anatomy poster on there. And I've already done all the rest of it. Right, there we go. That is about as good as I'm going to get on this room. Build that room as well. That is the perfect trading room in there. That is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to go straight in here. I've got trainees available already. Um, I've got janitors here, a junior assistant. I've got a basic doctor who's already got the GP stuff. And I've got Dr. Perry Monk here, student doctor. You, course is available. You can do all of this different stuff. Research is what you're going to do. Trainers available. I can use my other doctor to do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to bring in a guest trainer on there. Trainees available. I can do the other doctor, but no, I don't want you. I'm not interested. Dr. Perry Monk is going to be my research doctor. Dr. Monk. Right. Start training. That's 24 days. You are going to be making use of that room to start with. And then I've got a research room over here, which is going to be absolutely wonderful. Let's start all of that. In research. Right. Doctor required in research. He'll eventually get over here and be able to do something. And it will be wonderful. And it will be amazing. And yeah, everybody will be really happy with it. I'm quite pleased with what we've got going on so far. Just waiting for him to turn up. I've got a lot of people throwing up constantly. I'm assuming that's radiation sickness. That's the only assumption I can make, is that we're getting radiation sickness. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. <laughs> Next up, I want to go and I just want to take a look at the temperature overview. Right, we do not have a very warm room over here. So, items. Radiator. If I could put a radiator in here somewhere... That would make life a lot easier. So we will do a portable radiator in the middle of the room. Quite a few of our staff have free training slots. You got Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Harrison Wolf here on Two Point Radio. Remember, I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to entertain myself. Okay, he's here to entertain himself. We must not forget that. I'm going to put a plant right there. So that we have some plantage around. It's not going to hurt. I'm going to do one there like that. And I'm also going to do one there like that. And then I'm going to take a radiator and I'm going to put it... I was going to put it here. Why can't I put a radiator down? Should be able to. Uh, I'm going to put one there. Right. Uh, movie star visit. Film star and former child folk music performer Roderick Cushion is in the area filming an adaptation of the best-selling psychological thriller and all-around page-turner, Get Away From Those Children, Those Are My Children. His agents have asked if we're interested in hosting him for a visit for some mutual publicity. If he's impressed with the hospital, it would be good for our reputation, and he might even make a donation. What do you think? Challenge. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital. Yes, we will do that. Right, there is... Litter, but not many bins or something. we got a lot of people being sick into these bins, which is not very helpful. For legal reasons, stop her. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.